22.2 deadlifts and bar facing burpees. We're going up and then we're going down. 10 minute time cap here. That's right, you're at the base of the roller coaster. You just pulled out of the station and now we're starting to climb. We're getting higher and higher, one to 10. Now, Sean, this isn't the first time We've had a rep scheme like this, one to 10. In fact, we had something similar, I believe it was in 2018, where we had the dumbbell squats and bar facing burpees. And if anybody remembers, once you got to the round of seven, it got really, really nasty. Now with this one, we're tacking on a nine to one on the backside. So like I said, it's be very smooth at the start, efficient like you see with Laurel Horvath and Emma Lawson. And really, again, this is going to be a back half race. Both Lawson and Horvath are already in their rounds of five. Horvath now starting her round of six as Emma Lawson closing out her burpees on her round of five. Ten minute time cap here. Laura nice. Horvath continues to keep that pace that she came out of the gate. They said round of five. Okay, what does that mean? You've only done 15 reps of both. But in round six and seven, you nearly match that with 13 apiece, and then we get to the round of eight. So like I said, this gets heavy and hard in a hurry. So don't waste your time too early with the smaller reps. It's Again, round seven is really where this event starts to take shape. And that's right where Laura Horvath is. This is her round of seven bar-facing burpees. Emma Lawson is on her deadlifts here in round number seven. And Laura Horvath continues to attack this workout. Getting set to move into her round of eight deadlifts. Al Horvath back to the barbell. Emma Lawson continuing to work her way through the burpees. Coming up after this matchup, we have our second throwdown between Justin Medeiros and Saxon Panchik. So you're going to want to stick around for that as Laura Horvath back to the burpees and closing out her round of eight. And you really see the difference of strengths and weaknesses between Emma Lawson and Laura Horvath. Horvath juts to get a no wrap. Now, the burpee standard here for this year is a little bit different. It's a two foot takeoff, but a one foot landing is allowed. So those of you guys that are watching at home understand that it has changed. The takeoff has not, but the landing has. Look at Laura Horvath and the speed she has on these deadlifts. A lot different than we saw from Emma Lawson, but it's not a huge surprise. You gotta remember, Emma Lawson is 17 years old. She is just learning really how to use her strength and to develop that. Laura Horvath has a few years under her belt as she is one of the stronger females in the field. And Laura Horvath has not slowed down so far. She is in her round of nine already. She'll do one round of 10 after this, then it's back down the ladder. As Emma Lawson is now in her round of nine on the deadlifts. It's so hard to stay above the bar after your last burpee and to just pick it up. But Laura is doing a masterful job, as we saw on that transition. Like I said before, you can lose a lot of time on the burpees, but it, even more from that transition from burpee to deadlift. Three and a half minutes have gone by, and Laura Horvath is in her round of 10 bar-facing burpees. Emma Lawson 14 reps back of Horvath. And I, if I was going to give anyone a time to maybe step off the gas for a second, I would give it to this 10 burpees. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to be unbroken on the deadlifts. But the 10 burpees, the cresting of that hill, is that one moment where you can take a little bit off the gas. I'm not saying go slow, a little intensity off the gas before you get down into the round of nine. Orbath is now making the turn back down. This is her second round of nine. Important to note that the time cap is 10 minutes as we're just past the four minute mark. So it's 55 reps to get to 10, but 45 reps on the back half going nine down to one. At the 100 28 mark is when Laura Horvath will be done with her second round of nine. Then she'll move down to her second round of eight. And she pretty early in this workout grabbed a lead over Emma Lawson. And that has just widened as we have moved our way through 22.2. And where the lead's coming from, it's not on the bar facing burpees. 
It's actually on the deadlifts that Laura's doing, but now Laura's taking her first big break, and that was between a burpee. I thought she was resting for her deadlift. Where she's getting some a, a break, at least, is that Lawson is having to break up her deadlift sets, where Laura Horvath has been going unbroken and quickly each set. This is the round of eight, second time for Horvath, as now Emma Lawson as well on the left side of your screen. She is working her way back down. More than halfway through, 10 minute time cap, four and a half minutes remaining. And this is the first time that we've seen Laura Horvath kind of fall off that pace that she established early on. A very, I would say, unknown element of the burpee is how much it takes away from your core. If you want to really know what that feels like, mix something like a GHC sit up or a toes to bar with a burpee. And you'll be shocked how hard it is to actually contract and extend to get off of the floor from the burpee. The deadlift is going to do the same thing in the opposite fashion. And so this is one of those that's going to sneak up on you very quickly. We just have four minutes left. Horvath is well above the pace she needed to be at to get underneath that 10 minute mark. But now we're starting to see the compounding effect between the posterior midline fatigue and the anterior midline fatigue from the burpee. Horvath now into her second round of seven, a 10 rep lead over Emma Lawson with three and a half minutes to go now. Now Lawson, though she was about 16 reps behind Horvath at the halfway point, her burpee pace is actually a much faster pace than Horvath was on the back half. So even though she's taking maybe one break per set, she is making up time on the burpees. So it's not set in stone just yet. Emma Lawson within 11 reps of Laura Horvath. Horvath needs to get to the 158 rep mark to move into her round of six. Then Horvath taking big breaks during the burpees. Lawson taking a break during the deadlifts. And like I said, as we get closer and closer, right, this is 100 total reps if you were to finish this event for the deadlifts and the burpees. When you get down to the six down to one, that's only 21 reps left. Round of six for Laura Horvath. And she rifles through those deadlifts. And now six more bar facing burpees. Now the pace picking up a little bit more for Laura Horvath. Now Laura's approaching her set of five. This is where I said the darkness sets in. You are max fatigue, max lactic acid, max lung capacity, just absolutely smoked. But you have five, four, three, two, one left. Two minutes to go. This is where you embrace the darkness and finish towards the end. Horvath into her round of five. Less than two minutes to go. A total of 30 reps remain. Look at the top part of your screen. Emma Lawson, she was 12 back at about a minute ago, and she's cut down four reps on Laura Horvath. Ninety seconds as Emma Lawson is trying to reel in Laura Horvath, but she might run out of time. She did carve a couple reps off of that deficit, as you said, Chase. As Horvath is back to the barbell for her round of four. And your big moves need to be made on your big sets. The seven to seven, that's where this workout is won. That is where this workout can be lost. Once you get to about the four, three, two, one, pretty much paved your way to the finish line from there. Less than a minute to go. Horvath with nine reps remaining. Her lead is back up to double digits over Emma Lawson. And now the round of two. And Laura Horvath has a chance here to finish inside the time cap. Two reps left. And Laura Horvath finishes 22.2931. Unofficially make it 930.60 seconds as Emma Lawson is trying to get her last two reps in here. She has 10 remaining.
five seconds left. Lawson back to the barbell. And we have hit the time, and we'll have to wait to see what her official score is. Looks like she was four reps shy of finishing, but Laura Horvath digs into the reserve <laughs> fuel tank. That is not what I want to see. <laughs> and is After able to get like across that. the finish.